So guys, I am back with another Diablo 4 video and today guys, I'm going to show you a sneaky little method where if you're a solo player farming dungeons for XP, this will save you a ton of time because it means guys, you don't have to quit out to the main menu to reset said dungeon farm. It's unreal. If you're a farmer like me, you may as well take advantage of this. How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so initiate the process. Well, to initiate this process, it was going to take you about five minutes. But once you have done that first five minutes of initiating, you never have to reset the game again until you basically, well, log off the game. Once you log off and log back in, you'll have to do the process again. But if you plan on sitting there for a couple of hours, farming dungeons over and over, you may as well do this because like I said, it saves you loading out and loading back in, especially if you are a solo player. Okay, so to do this, guys, you need to have a nightmare sigil. Doesn't matter what kind of nightmare sigil you have, you need to have any one of them. You can craft these at the Oculus in your local town if you want to. Craft a low level one, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to craft one of these just for the sake of crafting one. There you go, I've crafted one. Uh, that's a low level one. Like I said, it doesn't matter what what sigil it is. It can be a high level tier, it can be a low level tier, not matter. So you just want to go ahead and then use this. So we use this, guys. It brings up the dungeon on your map. So I'm just going to mark that. I'm just going to head over there. That's quite a mission away from where I'm at. So what I'm going to do is I'll cut the video and go to it. And then I'll catch you back in a quick second. Okay, guys. So I'm at the dungeon. What the heck happened there? Did you guys see that? <laughs> Okay, so I just wanted to give credit to Nick2 for this like, actual this strat. Didn't know about it. The video was sent to me in my Discord, but credit to Nick2 for this amazing, amazing strat for solo players. His channel can be found linked down below. He does post some amazing Diablo 4 videos. Okay, so all you gotta do, guys, is literally just do the first objective. All you gotta do is just do the first objective. So here I've got to activate a gate controls. That's it. That's all you've got to do. Okay, so I'm just going to run through it. What is going on in my game, people? Check this. What is this? Is a lag. I know the servers are bad, but Jesus, am I going to be able to get through this? Oh, it's a bit better now. It's a bit better now. Okay, so we're good. We're good. So what I'll do is I'll, I'll skip this till we, till we get to the gates uh, to save time. But yeah, like I said, activate the sigil, do the first objective. That's all you need to do. And we'll run from there. Okay, so there's one done. And there we have two done. So guys, as you can see now, I have uh, almost completed the first step. So I'm just going to go and open that gate as it requires me to do. And from this moment, guys, this is where the goodness happens. This is where that goodness starts. So as you can see, a progress done. My uh, next objective for the objectives has changed, which is what we're looking for. We need that objective on screen to change. Now, guys, just simply leave the dungeon. Leave that dungeon. Just like so. Now, from here, you go ahead and you farm whatever dungeon you want to farm. Over and over. But this is the trick. So, I'm just going to go to one of my favorite dungeons at the minute, which we'll go to right now. Okay, so I've come to one of my favorite dungeons in the game still. The Forsaken Quarry. Right here, guys. Simply enter it. Well, you can go to any dungeon you want to. Doesn't matter. Whichever one you use to farm the XP, to farm those legendaries, this will work with. Simple as that. Now, all you do is you farm said dungeon, which is what we will do here. We'll farm this dungeon. Now, the great thing about this is, guys, which I'll demonstrate to you as well. Once you farm said dungeon, all you do is leave said dungeon. You don't have to quit out of the game anymore. That initiation process of activating that sigil and doing the first objective within that, that, that dungeon, that basically, guys, drops a bugger in the game, which means that dungeons will reset as soon as you leave and go back into them. Absolute madness. I'm going to try and make this as quick as possible. But my build is still a work in progress. It ain't as fast as what it, it can be. As we know, probably shouldn't have reset. But hey, it's a mistake I gotta live with now. <laughs> you know, I just wanted to sacrifice all my minions. They would do my head in, they were just use. Even, you know what? 
My golem ain't even the best. My golem's a bit weird. There we go. Leveled up. Nice. We'll take that. Oh, people are in trouble now. They are in trouble now. I absolutely love this. Goodbye. One more. Goodbye. Okay, so there's 16 enemies remaining. So I've got to slay them too. We'll find them. We'll find them. Okay, so I found a group. Hiding in a sneaky corner. All got that damage resist done. Not anymore, they haven't. Okay, so that's one enemy and done. Okay, so let's go back to that door. Now, see, this is the way I normally farm this Forsaken Quarry. I do the first two instances. And now this next section will require me to rescue uh, or release prisoners. I, I don't, I just run past all the prisoners. Don't release any of them. Leave them to suffer. Actually, I actually want to pick up this loot. Can't, can't waste money. Although, I just run past some gold. Okay, so we're just going to do all this. Release or free the uh, prisoners, which is the objective here. I don't get it twisted. You don't actually have to do objectives. That's what I'm doing. I ain't doing the objectives here. I'm just farming these enemies. And then we're just going to reset the dungeon. Like, like I said, I demonstrated to you by just simply leaving the dungeon and coming back into it. And you can do this over and over and over again until you actually log out of the game. This will work if you plan on, like I said, if you plan on farming a dungeon for a few hours or plan on farming anything where there's an instance where you need to load out the game to load back in, this will eliminate that process. Which will save you in the long run a ton of time. And I mean an absolute ton of time. So we actually can just do it from here. Let me just kill this one last group of ads. It don't really matter. Boom, bitches! Get out of here. Get out of here. Okay, so that's the way to progress anyway. Okay, so now, pull up your map and go to leave dungeon. Or press up on your D-pad and go to leave dungeon. And you'll see, guys, as soon as we get outside of this dungeon door and come back in, this dungeon will have reset. There's some weird kind of thing happening with that nightmare sigil because I only did the first objective within it. You see it's still active on my screen. We go back in here, guys. It resets because it's normally like a, a minute cooldown on dungeons and left unless you quit out to the main menu and come back in. You have to wait a minute for a dungeon to reset. At least a minute, could be a minute and a half. I'm not sure. But as you can see, guys, the dungeon has reset. All these ads will be or will, will have respawned. And there we have it. That first group is back, guys. Second group is back, guys. And again, you can rinse and repeat this over and over and over, guys. Run the dungeon, complete the dungeon. It doesn't matter. I, well, in fact, I haven't actually completed. I ain't defeated the boss. Let's see what happens that way. But, uh, you know, we'll quickly test that. I'll run this now. I'll cut the video. We'll do the boss and see if it can still reset it. We're just leaving the dungeon, so... Catch you back in a quick second, my beautiful people. Now, another thing to quickly mention as well, guys, before we test this. Uh, if you apply a potion for that extra XP, as you probably know, if you reset uh, normal dungeons the normal way by quitting out to the main menu, you actually lose the buff of that 5% extra XP. Doing this method, guys, will mean that that buff stays on. You don't lose that buff, which is great. It really is. You ain't using a potion every time you do a dungeon. Which means it lasts way, way longer. And if you're efficient in your runs, you can run dungeons in 5 to 10 minutes. So yeah, good good stuff. So back to the boss, guys. And see if this works if you destroy him too. Okay, so we've just taken out the boss, people. In my local dungeon. I love to farm. So we're just going to see now if it does reset after you've completed the entire dungeon. Yes, there's some, some dungeons in this game which don't actually have uh, bosses within them. So either completing a dungeon via doing a boss or destroying all enemies at the end. We'll see now if this works. This method works in resetting the dungeon. So yeah, let's go and have a look, people. I'm pretty sure it will still be fine. And this basically saves a few loading instances. Yes, it does. It's reset the entire dungeon, which is great. I'm not ready yet. Just double check, make sure. Yes, the ads are all back. Oh, back. There we go. So, yes, guys, this new strat, absolutely unbelievable when it comes to efficiency in farming dungeons solo. Again, 
activate a nightmare sigil. Do the first objective within said uh, dungeon it sends you to. Make sure the objective on your screen changes to that second objective, whatever that may be within that dungeon. Then guys, go ahead and farm said dungeon, your favorite dungeon for that XP. Farm it over and over and over. This will reset, obviously, when you quit out to the main menu and come back in. So if you do that, if you get booted because the servers can be a bit dodgy, uh, you will have to reset the process of activating another sigil and doing the first objective again. But again, this eliminates the process of having to quit to the main menu to reset any dungeon you are farming if you are a solo player. This makes it basically as efficient as being in a co-op team, which is amazing. And if you plan on doing dungeons for quite a while, throughout the day, you may as well use this because, hey, it is a great, 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 great strat for an XP. And there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps. Add if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.